friends, I'm Nicole and this is Presley's Pantry. Come on over, let's see what we're gonna make today. Get in my big cookbook. This is my life. <gasps> oh, we're making chile rellenos. Oh, I have such a great story about chile rellenos. Let's just put it up here to remind everybody what we're making. I went to this party and I'm asking, who made these chile rellenos? I need to know who made them. And everyone starts saying, that one there, her name is Socorro. So I rush over to meet Socorro. Wait, but before I get to that, let us start oiling our chilies. We are going to oil up these chilies, these Anaheim chilies, because we're about to burn them on the stove and make sure that they get really charred. So if we get them nice and oiled, it'll make for easy burning. So I get over to Socorro and she's not smiling at all. And I come over and I'm just bursting with energy and I tell her, I love your chile rellenos. It's one of the best I've ever had. Do you think you could teach me how to make it? She looked at me with this face like I just ran over her dog. Like, what? Are you out of your mind, girl? But she said, sure, I'll teach you. Be at my house tomorrow morning at seven and no later. And if you are even a minute late, forget about it. So I, of course, arrived there like 6.45. And at seven o'clock, she opens the door and she says to me, come in. Don't take any notes and let's hurry. So there I am, I'm, you know, like in panic mode thinking, oh no. When chile rellenos are in the making, if you enter a home and you can smell this scent or you walk into a restaurant, you think, oh my word. This is just the tip of the iceberg on what they're gonna look like. The reason I'm really burning these chilies is because we're gonna go ahead and peel them. And in order to peel them, we need to char the skin, which then we are going to steam them, run them under water, and slowly peel off the skin. So we wanna make sure that we get as much of this skin as charred as possible. You want them to be burned. We're not gonna be afraid of burning, not at all. When Socorro showed me this technique, she was right there on my side saying, andale, andale, apurate, apurate. I mean, there was just, uh, I couldn't make the flame go fast enough, but she was happy with the end result for sure. I'm just going to get a handy Ziploc, pull them out from here. This one's so charred that it's even juicing out. Let them just steam and sit in their own, in their own moisture. So that was it. She taught me how to make the basic 101 and she let me eat my chile relleno and then she kicked me out of the house and said, Vete. Honestly, I was really happy to learn under the watchful eye of Socorro and under the whip of a sergeant. Thank you, Socorro. Let's make our sauce. Let's start with an onion. We're just gonna cut this onion really easy. Oh, you know what I need? I need my onion goggles. Cut my onions without my onion goggles. Let's go. We're just gonna take a really big chop for this sauce. We don't need anything fancy or specific. This is just really gonna flavor our sauce nicely. And the best part is, I'm not gonna cry. I did quarter inch slices and then I'm just gonna chop right down the middle. Yay, thank you onion goggles. I'm gonna go on a medium high flame and take the oil that I had used earlier to oil my peppers in and just pour them in. That way nothing goes to waste. Let that oil heat up a bit and then we're just gonna cut off the little ends of these garlic cloves here. I don't like the little ends, they bug. We're also gonna throw in a huerito chili into our sauce as well. It sounds like the oil is heating nicely so it's a very simple sauce. I wouldn't serve my chile relleno unless I had this sauce. The scent will be so fragrant and delicious. You'll just want to start eating them as is, but not yet, my friend. Let's add some spice. Black pepper, sprinkle it. Oh God, this smells so delicious. A pinch of oregano, just a little pinch. Flory seasoning salt, one 
teaspoon of it. Oh, I just love Laurie's. I can't live without it these days. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder and make sure you mix it on. And then we're gonna go ahead and add la piña flour. Socorro was, oh, ooh. <laughs> Socorro was a real stickler for la piña flour. She said if I didn't have this, not to come. So I stick by the rules and I still use this flour today. We're gonna add in two heaping tablespoons. You want the flour to just soak up the additional oil add some texture to your sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more, just cause I like what I see in here. I ended up with three tablespoons total. So let's add three cups of, of tomato sauce. Pour this in. And for every can of tomato sauce that you pour in, you wanna put the equivalent amount of water. This is about two cups here. Pour this in. another half a bottle. And this sauce isn't a really thick sauce. You want it to be more wet and just fall over your chile relleno nicely. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a nice stir. Try and get any of the little brown bits off the bottom. Stir in our onions. And then we are going to use El Pato. It's the only one of its kind on the market, so it's not like I can substitute it. It's a hot tomato sauce, Mexican style. We can't compromise this recipe. In the words of Socorro, you have to use el pato. El pato. It has to be el pato. And we're going to pour the entire can in. It is a very spicy tomato sauce. So if spice isn't something you can handle, I'd go with half a can. I put it at the lowest flame possible and I'm just gonna let it sit for the rest of the time while I make my chile rellenos. Bring this over here. What's up, Pepsi Pantry? Flavio! It's Flavio the Bolio. Flavio, you're throwing all my stuff around. What are you guys doing? Making chile rellenos. Chile rellenos? We make tortas in this situation. Oh, contraire mon frere. We do not make tortas in this situation. You're boring. I'm making chile rellenos. That's what we picked out of the cookbook. Today. Chile rellenos are boring. That's boring. Your face is boring. What's your name? That's Carlota, the butter dish. Want me to bring her up close? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't she cute? Yeah. Is she single? You think she buttered my bread? Get out of here, you pig. You bug. Here is my nice block of jack cheese. Cut a little piece down the center. There we go. And then we're just gonna do this and cut pieces. I'm gonna start making my flour mixture. Just a cup, half a teaspoon of black powder. Same ingredients we used on the sauce mix. Laurie's garlic powder. A pinch of oregano. Okay, so. I'm just going ahead and running these this chili under the nice steady stream of water and with this step you have to be super careful because you don't want your chili to tear that in turn will make for a messy chile relleno nice and peeled and we're just going to make a little slit right up on top just across here, and then another little slit here, just to have some room. And I'm gonna take one of these and just cut it into a point. Just trim off the end so that it, you can have a point at the end. And you use that as your guidance into the chili. So you make that, make sure the slit's big enough so that you can push the cheese in. I push it all the way down. You can add another piece so that you make sure all of the chili has some cheese in it. As an alternative, I sometimes like to fill them with blue cheese or feta cheese for the meat lovers in the house. <laughs> calling all meat lovers, kiki kiki ki, calling all meat lovers, kiki kiki ki, 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 ki. Would you like some carne? 
Would you like to put some chorizo? If you want to put some chorizo in your chile relleno Go ahead and feel free to substitute some carne asada too Na 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 We just dump it right in here The chilies are really delicate to begin with and Minimal tears you have in the chili, the better of the frying and the presentation of the chili because we are going to dip these bad boys into a batter. And without further ado, let's get that going. So let me bring in my handy kitchen aid. Now I'm going to go ahead and break these eggs and we are just going to separate the yolk from the white. And look at that. If you don't have a kitchen aid, don't worry about it. You don't absolutely need one. You can easily use a hand mixer. We're just gonna throw our egg yolks here and repeat. I just wanna separate the whites from the from the yolks. I like to do it with my hands. I feel like it gives me more control and makes life a little easier. I just rinse my hands. While we're waiting for our egg whites to meringue up, we want to make sure that our oil is getting hot. So I'm just going to put this big frying pan over a medium high flame. I want to make sure I get a lot of oil in the pan. I'd say maybe about a cup and a half, two cups of oil. I want to make sure my flame is really hot. So make sure it's a medium high. Okay, there we go. Lock her in and... When you start, you want to start on slow speed and gradually work your way up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this egg white turn into a white foam. We want it to turn into white peaks and for it to be really stiff. It takes about two to three minutes and it looks like we're almost there. Okay, so when you pull out your egg whites, you want them to be stiff and really thick. And then you go ahead and dump your yolks right on top. There we go. And just give it a quick mix. I'm going to bring the whole mixture over here. Here we go. We're going for our chile relleno chilies that are ready. Floured, and I'm going to just dip them right into this meringue batter and pull them out and put them in. And with the excess egg that's on your hand, just feel free to do that with it. Let me just rinse off my hands really quick. Yum. Oh, someone's going to be so lucky whoever gets to eat this. <laughs> and I bet you it's going to be me. I like to go ahead and Put some hot oil up on the side so that it could just fry and make it easier to flip, which is always a task for me. No. Yay! And it flipped. <laughs> when I try other people's chile rellenos, I, without, you know, sounding crazy, I compare them to my own and decide if I like them from there. So. Here it is. Here's my chile relleno. Nice and crisp and cheesy and full of spice and ready and dine and waiting for the sauce to be poured up on top. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to see the strips of onion. I don't know. This is just the icing on top of my chile relleno. This is what makes the world go round. This is the proof. It's all here in the pudding. I am smitten in love. So I got the brown bits from the bottom of the saucepan. Oh my God. Look at that. That's what I want. That's where you and I need to be friends. Mmm. 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 It's heavenly. I promise you. Enjoy your chile rellenos. 
Thank you for visiting Presley's Pantry. Visit us anytime you like www.presleyspantry.com. Cheers. Enjoy your chile rellenos.